Hi, welcome. Thanks for clicking on my video. For today's micro adventure, we're just going to be staying in the garden because uh, today I'm going to be building a raft and then hopefully tomorrow I'll take it on the river and see how it floats. I'm just going to be building it out of things that I've got lying around and a couple of bits that I got off Facebook Marketplace because it's nice and cheap to find things on there. Let's see what we've got. Here are the materials that I've got to work with. Uh, I've got a sheet of plywood which is left over from a previous project. It's about 12 mil thick. Uh, I've got four barrels. I've got two small ones and two mediums. The smalls are 30 litre and the mediums are 60 litres. So all together that gives me 180 litres. So that should equate to about 180 kilograms of buoyancy. Hopefully that's going to be plenty. Uh, I've got some bits of timber which someone gave me for free uh, for firewood, but they're going to be quite good for building. Uh, they all came quite thick like this, but I, uh, I've got a friend with a bandsaw and they let me borrow it. So I split a few of them down to make smaller pieces on the bandsaw. Uh, I've then got some string. I bought these because I thought they might be useful somehow. I've uh, got some nuts and bolts, I'll explain what they're for later. Uh, ratchet straps and some webbing straps with buckles on. Uh, I had these so I'll use them somehow, not sure. I've got some zip ties, uh, might be useful, and a few power tools. And um, I reckon that's going to be enough to, uh, to build me something. So based on the materials I've got, this is the design I've come up with. Uh, so I'm going to use a plywood to make uh, kind of a deck uh, to sit on. And then these small blocks are there to hold the medium sized barrels. So the two medium sized barrels are going to be underneath the deck, providing most of buoyancy. And then across ways, uh, one of those big planks I showed you earlier, with kind of a cradle on each side for the smaller barrels as outriggers. And I'm hoping all that together should, uh, should hold me up. Now the reason why I've got the nuts and bolts is my car is quite small and in order to get it all in I'm going to have to be able to take it apart and build it uh, and put it together mm -hmm. quickly. So what I've decided is I think if I just put a couple of bolts, one here and one here, to hold the outrigger on and then that can be unbolted quickly, slotted into the car and then put together when I get to the river. Weatherman says it's going to rain in a bit, so I'm just going to get cracking before uh, before it does. I'm not so sure how much of it I'm going to be able to film, but I'll do my best and uh, see you later. Right, so first little issue is, because these barrels aren't completely flat, they're rounded at the end, it means that the bottom, the stop at the bottom, just has to come in slightly to be underneath it. I think once it's strapped down it will still be okay. But at the front end we've got that bit of right angle metal holding it in. And then at the back it's going to be this block, and then there's now going to be similar blocks on the sides. So we have the first bit complete, so the barrels will have ratchet straps on them to hold them in place. But if I just take these off, you'll see both of the bits there. So blocks of wood on the sides and the back, and then this little bit of right angle metal, just because it's a bit smaller, a bit lighter at the front. Holds everything on in place. The only difference really that I've made from the original plan uh, was it did have two individual blocks here, and I've put one solid one because the barrels are kind of curved at the end and you get a better straighter bit in the middle so I thought rather than having two little ones at the end where it's curved and a bit awkward I put uh, a single piece in the middle of each and that should hold it in place with a ratchet strap on that makes it pretty firm it's long enough to go around three times so it's a good strong, secure hold there we go all the screws on the top I've countersunk in so that should give a nice comfy uh, deck to work on. It's starting raining a bit now so I've taken the power tools inside but you can uh, see the two uh, cradles that I've made for the outriggers. Just a real simple square. Again a screw in each corner, countersunk. Uh, and then the raised ends just help hold this end at both ends so even with that lip coming up it still holds it in on that end and that ends well in. This one I've already put the strap on it. You can see these kind of webbing straps. Uh, I'm not sure what they came from, but I've got them in my, in my garage. Uh, I've only put one on for now. I'll probably put two on, uh, two on each, and that should hold it. So the next job is to attach these 
onto the uh, the main bit. We need to stop now. So back outside. So let me show you what we've got so far. We've got the deck with its fittings on, one barrel currently attached. And we've got the outrigger made up. It's not attached to the uh, deck at the moment, as you can see, but that's showing roughly where it will be. And its barrels are smaller ones. They will fit on like that. And then they'll have straps on. So the next job, going to put a hole that here and here so I can bolt the outrig a bit onto the main deck. And there we have it all attached. I've decided to use uh, wing nuts here just to make it a bit easier for screwing those in when, uh, when I get to build it and to take it apart. Next step get the barrels on and we are finished. And there she is all made up. So ratchet straps on the big barrels in the middle and then the smaller webbing straps on the uh, smaller barrels on the side. Flip her over and see what it's like right way up. <laughs> that looks pretty sea worthy to me. Well, river worthy, <laughs> maybe not the sea. Here she is, complete. A little bit of a rock because the smaller barrels are slightly higher up. Take some weight. I'm going to just write the paddle. I'm going to go get the paddle. So my wife's got a paddle board, so she doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to borrow her paddle for this. That might be an issue. Okay, I'm getting there. Now the real test lies in will this fit in my tiny car? Because if I can't take it to the river, it's no good. So I put a uh, tarp down just to protect the car a bit. I've got the front passenger seat down. Let's see if I can take the two bolts out and slot it in. Well, the main deck's gone in, no problem. Not sure if I'll fit the outrigger in without taking the barrels off, but I'm going to give it a go. Well, there we have it. It fits in now. All I've had to do is take one barrel off. Uh, the other barrel's still attached. So when I come to put it together, stick on the river, I just need to attach one barrel on and then put the outrigger onto the main deck with the two bolts. It fit in. Can't wait to take it out. I think that's going to have to be tomorrow, though. So, just to conclude today's video, uh, it's all packed up in the car now, ready to go. Uh, so, when it's fully built, it measures about one and a half meters by one and a half meters, five foot by five foot, and that seems to be a nice, comfortable size for me to sit on. It's definitely a one-person thing. Um, it needs to be quite a bit bigger for a second person. But I'm really looking forward to taking it out tomorrow when I've got more time. And I can really, really enjoy that. So um, click on the next video and hopefully you can see me taking it out on the river. Bye.